Ain't no intro to this video. I'm going to get straight to it, man. What's going on? It's your boy Philly Fresh reporting for duty, a.k.a. the general. Y'all already know. But listen here, man. Stop disrespecting Howie. When I did my video, right, I was coming at Howie about our draft picks, okay? I was coming at him about our draft picks, which right now is not looking too good. You know, I named Derek Barnett, Sidney Jones, a couple other people. But just because he doesn't get the trade that y'all want, that doesn't mean he doesn't go out there and make trades. We had a very competitive, outstanding team in, 24, in, in, in 2017, right? We had two good running backs, right? This was before Corey Clement really emerged like that. But he was doing his thing. We had LeGarrette Blunt. He still went out there and got another player. Last year, even though it really didn't work out, but he did win a playoff game for us, he went out there and got Golden T. Howie never sits on his hands. Y'all coming at this man just because he didn't get Jalen Ramsey. Let me tell you something about the Rams. Five years, look where they'll be. They don't have a first-round draft pick for five years. Right? Not only that, you got the highest paid quarterback, right? You got the highest paid uh D tackle, right? You about to have the highest paid cornerback. And I'm not talking about in the MB, I mean in the NFL right now. I'm talking about ever. All these is ever, meaning the highest paid ever. So we gotta sit back and realize like I understand he's one of one. But he's not, Jalen Ramsey is not the end-all, be-all. And it's not like Hobby wasn't trying to get him. They wanted too much. They wanted too much. Stop trying to win the Super Bowl with one player. It ain't going to happen. Because if it, if, it, if, if it was, he would have won one in Jacksonville. We, we sitting here talking about this man like he's a Super Bowl champion. Yeah, he the best corner in the game, but what that ha what has that got the Jacksonville Jaguars? And I don't think it's going to get um I don't think it's going to get LA anywhere. I really don't. Because here's what's going to happen: they're not going to win a division. It's so many other, it's so many other NFC teams that's good that they got to catch. They game behind everybody for the wild card. They two two and a half games behind um Seattle. No, no, sorry. They two and a half games behind the 49ers. They're two games behind Seattle. So they're jeopardizing their future for right now, and they're not even in a position to. It was a dumb move for them. I'm not saying it's a dumb move to get Jalen Ramsey, but for them, it's a dumb move. I don't understand it. So I understand, all right, we didn't get uh, Javion J J Clowney. I did want him. And for what he went for a fourth-round pick, it had to be something, man. We're acting like how he's not putting his bids and dudes is just outbidding him. You go to a car auction, you want that car. Somebody outbid you. They want it more. All right, I'm going to see what other car they got next. Free agency, I mean, not free agency. The trade is not over. Trade block is not over. It's not. This dude makes moves, man. He continuously makes moves that we don't even see that's coming. He floats He floats under the radar, right? While everybody making their moves, you know, he, he, he sees what it is. What exactly do we need? And let's not forget, we do got Jalen Mills, Crevin Allen LeBlanc coming back, man. These dudes are not bad cornerbacks. They're better than what, what 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 we got going on right now. This is a crazy stat, but I'm going to say it anyway. Do y'all know that Jalen Mills and Ronald Darby, when them two dudes start at cornerback, outside cornerbacks, they're 13 and 5? Huh? 13 and 5. That's That's a good percentage, man. I'm not saying that they they shut downs, but for some reason, I think they fit Jim Swartz's scheme better. 
than the cornerbacks that we got. It's it it is up to Jim to put dudes in a in a better position to where as though they can show their full talent. I don't think Avante Maddox is an outside corner. I think he's a slot or a safety. I don't think he should ever be on the outside. But being as though we decimated with injuries, he put him there. And it's understandable. But we got a important game coming up. We about to take be sole owners of the division. And we sitting here talking about Jalen Ramsey, who we're not going to get. It's over. You're crying over spilled milk. Look it up off the floor if you want it that bad. He's not coming. He ain't coming. Stop disrespecting Howie, man. Do's and don'ts coming.